What's up, it's you? For today's video, we be full Zoroa Evolution Team. So now in the game, not only do we have Zoroa and Zoroark, we've got Zoroa and Zoroark Hisawang. So I thought this would be pretty cool for some fun mind games. Now with the illusion ability, it takes on the appearance of the last Pokemon in the party until of course it takes any damage. So I thought this would be really cool because with Zoro and Zoroark, they are dark type. With Hisawain, we got normal and ghost. So they'd be quite a fun combination to go with. I've got four battles today with this team and I hope you enjoy. And what do you think about Zoroark? Do you like uh, Zoroark Hisawain? Let me know about it in the comment section and let's get into it. This is a battle against Mr. Destructo and we've got a Zoroark versus Zoroark lead. However, this is not a Zoroark here, so this is a Zoroark. This is probably going to get really confusing, by the way, and I'm going to get it wrong. So we got the Ditto sliding right in here, and the thing about this, right, if Ditto tries to transform into a disguise Pokemon, it actually fails. So unfortunately, poor little Ditto is going to get trolled. Now, this Zoroa is a Giga Impact Protect Shadow Sneak set, and we also got Come Up It. So Come Up It is really cool. Um, I've actually got this as Brave Nature, and that's it. I don't have any more EVs in it at all. Just Max Attack, and that is it. Sort of like a little uh, fun strategy. So we go comes uh, Zoroark Hisawa here, and I've got Focus Sash as the item. Obviously, it works well to come up it. And now Zoroa is going to be uh, obviously uh, exposed here. So I can't go for any moves, but I had a little feeling that they had a Zoroa disguised as a Ditto because their team was a troll team too. So it turns out it's going to be normal Zoroark here, and it's going to be going for a Night Days. I almost could have uh, predicted wrong there, but it was good. At least I exposed the Zoroark. Now, the next Pokemon I'm going to bring in here is going to be Zoroa, but this is going to be my normal Zoroa. Now, one thing to note here as well, um, if you look at the nickname of my Pokemon, right, it says Zoroa at the moment. However, the opponent will see my Zoroa Hisawain uh, nickname, which is a surprise. I actually recently did a uh, Hisawain Zoroa sweep, so you can only view that because it's my Pokemon. Say if you're the opponent, you wouldn't be able to see that because I'm sure someone, you know, will actually ask that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to swap that out, and we're going to go back into Zoroa this way. So I'm really trying to, you know, uh, cause some mind games here with uh, Zoroa. Here comes a high voice from the opposing Zoroa, and that is going to change me into a Zoroa. Wow, look at that. So this Zoroark set, let me bring this up here. I'm getting confused all these Zoroaks. We've got a Sword Dance, Fury Swipes. It's a Pit Ride Special, Night Days, and Substitute set. King's Rock as the item, Max Attack and Max Speed, a Jolly Nature. So the next time you go out to dinner or wherever, you just you go up to the, the, wait, uh, the waiter or waitress and be like... Can I please get a Pip Night special? And you, you'll get the best meal of your life. Now, anyway, back to the battle. I'm getting a little bit confused here. Yeah. I'm going to go for a, uh, a Fury Swipes on the opposing Zoroa. I got five hits, which is pretty nice. Unfortunately, I did not get a flinch, and it's going to be able to take me out with a Hyper Voice. Now, I was thinking about doing a team that was pretty much similar to my opponent's team here with the Zoroark, uh, Zoroark Hisu, and a bunch of Ditto. So if you'd like me to do that maybe in the future, let me know about that in the comment section of the video. I think Zoroark is really cool. Um, I, I really, really do like the illusion ability. Now, another thing to note here with Terra as well, because I'm sure someone will ask, if you go for a Terra right, you will take on the type of that Terra. So you won't have the type of the Pokemon you're disguised as. Say, for example, um... At the moment, I've got my Zoroark here, but say, sorry, my Zorowa here. And say if I was disguised as normal Zoroark, I wouldn't be a dark type. I'd be a ghost type, if that makes sense, right? So anyway, I'm just getting very confused with all these Zoroas. So the illusion is going to wear off here. I'm going to go for a Dank Pulse. There's not a lot I can really do here, but at least that was enough to take out the opposing Zoroark. So that's one gone, but there's lots of Ditto, so I don't know which one's going to be it. So here comes Ditto, right? It's going to actually be able to transform this time because my form isn't disguised guys, and it's going to go into Zora, and it's going to be a Terra as well. Uh, a, a very, very uh, cool shiny as well for Zora. I quite like the uh, the blue on the black. 
In fact, that'll look pretty good on Zoroark too. I mean, the purple doesn't look bad either, but I like that uh, light blue. So we got a Terra Dragon Zoroark, and that is going to be dragging my Zoroark right out of this battle there. But that's all good. There's plenty more. Uh, actually, no, there's not plenty more. I've only got a, a team of four. I completely forgot. For, you know what? For some reason, I thought I had like another, like, I had like a ditto. I thought I was doing my ditto team. I'm getting confused right now. So this is my Bitter Malice, Hyper Voice, Flamethrower, Nasty Plot set. This is my Hisawai. If you want to check out the Hisawai and Zoroark sweep, I did it with this exact set. Now, the reason I put the uh, signature moves on there, just to show the signature moves off, if you uh, wanted to do some serious trolling, you could give it Shadow Ball. And that's actually pretty smart because you can disguise it as your know, other Pokemon. So we've got Bitter Malice, High Voice, Flamethrower, Nasty Blood, Focus Sash as the item. I've got Jolly Nature, uh, sorry, Timmy Nature, and Max Speed, Max Special Attack. So that's going to be enough to take out the opposing Ditto. Next Pokemon is another Ditto. So Ditto, once again, is going to transform. These are all speed ties, by the way, unless it is a choice scarf, which I was worried about because, as you know, I've only got uh, one Pokemon left. So my best move here would be to go for Flamethrower because at least that is neutral because, you know, let's face it, I can't go for the other, uh, you know, bit of Malice. So I'm going to go for that Flamethrower there, and the Ditto is going to get wrecked, which is awesome. So now there's one Zoroark left, and... Uh, and one Ditto, I believe. This is, this is starting to get confusion. So when it comes here, I'm going to go for a flamethrower on the Zoroi Hisu, and it's dropped it with a critical hit. I don't know whether that actually mattered, but it, it might have. I, I'm not really sure. But uh, let's poke up it. It's going to be the Ditto. I was like, all right, it's the blue shiny Ditto. It's ready to rock and roll. It's going to transform into my Zoroi right now. So the opposing Ditto outspeeds me with a flamethrower, but thank goodness my focus sash was still retained there. And even better, right? I didn't get roasted by Burn or anything like that. And now I can get my attacking move off and that's going to take out the Ditto. What a crazy battle there. How many transformations were in that first battle? It's going crazy. I'll uh, take you, Mr. Detracto, for the battle there. And let's get on to battle number two. We got four battles today with the same. Our next uh, battle, this one, is against uh, uh, Ethan. And we have a Ninja League. You might be able to see what sort of theme team we got going here, too. Once again, people, if you like the videos, you want to support the channel, make sure you uh, drop a like and uh, leave me a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. I always like to read my comments over breakfast time. And it can be on any video on my channel too. I always reply to them and stuff like that. It's quite a, it's like my little daily routine. So my uh, Gridian is going to go have a protein, obviously, and it's going to be a uh, water shuriken set. So this is a little bit of a pain, actually, because if it, you know, with the priority move, it can actually reveal my Pokemon, like, really, really fast there. I would need, like, a, like, probably, like, I don't know, like a priority move. I'm thinking, like, Sucker Punch. That's about the only priority move I think Zoroark gets, or Quick Attack. Something uh, like that. But, yeah, it's a little bit of a pain here because my Zoroark can't do much here. So, all I can really do is go for the Dark Pole. So, that was the best I could do. Uh, Greninja is going to finish me off here with the Water Shuriken. But, that's all good. Zoro will be back in uh, the next two battles. Now, we're going to go into Surprise. Now, is this actually the Zoroark? Did I try? Yet yeah, I actually left this as the normal just a Zoroark for a little bit of mind games here. So, there was no transformation this time. That's the thing with these Pokemon. I want to say, like, you know, back, if, if you did battle a lot or knew about this back in the day, there never used to be a team preview in battle. So, Zoroark would have been such an amazing Pokemon if team preview never came there. You know, like, imagine that. You could just hide a Zoroark in the back with uh, Illusion. Uh, very, very cool stuff. So uh, that's the end of Greninja. In comes Walking Meme. And it's going to go for a Dragon Pulse. Obviously taking out my uh, my Hisawain Zoro out there. So I'm like, all right, this is a threat. So what I'm going to do is go into Zoroark. But it's not actually Zoroark. It's Zorowa. Wait, this is this reminds me of the time when I seen that tiny Zoroark. I don't think mine's as tiny, but it's still pretty small. So we got the Zoro here. I've got comeuppance. And uh, since I've got the Focus Sash, I'm going to be able to go for comeuppance now. So I'm like... I don't know whether this is going to take it out. It's going to do a lot of damage, but, you know, this thing has a fair whack of health. So transforming there and going for come up here and almost took that very, very close. However, that's why I put Shadow Sneak in this. So, you know, say if I did get hit by a powerful move, took me down to one health. The opponent had a lot of health. I could, you know, quickly finish them off. So that's the end of our, you know, walking meme there. I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak on the uh, Brizion here. Sorry, I mean the Iron Leaves. Does pretty good damage there, and now it's going to finish you off with the Leaf Blade. So you might be able to see the pattern of the team now. I mean, you probably be able to guess it. So next Pokemon is going to be Zoroark, and of course, it's my last Pokemon too. 
Now, this is my Fury Swipe Sword Dance set, only on Pimp My Shadow. We've got a, uh, a normal uh, terror here. So, with my terrors, I tried to do, like, funny ones. So, with the dark one, I could turn it into a normal type. So, you know, I could sort of disguise that along, like, along well with the ghost type, uh, Zoro Akisu. But, uh, yeah, some uh, really, really cool sort of Pokemon here. I love the illusion ability. So, go for the uh, Night Days there. This is a mix set. It's a real Pimp Night special, this one. And uh, Vrizion Iron Leaves is going to be fading. Last Pokemon is Charizard the Unrivaled. So I'm like, okay, I don't think I can take Charizard out with a Fury Swipe. Let's be real about this because, you know, Fury Swipes is very, very weak. It's got um, 18, 18 base power and uh, we've got 80% accuracy. So it, it's not the greatest in the world. So I was like, all right, I've got the Terra Normal. That's going to do okay. How about I bump things up a little bit with a Sword Dance? So Charizard is going to go for a Terra Dragon here. It's going to be uh, hit me with that Dragon Pulse, but uh, I actually managed to live kind of badly, but I still managed to live. Now I'm going to go for the Fury Swipes normal. It landed, which is always a good start. So the first one, I get a Mega Crit, which is really, really good. Second one, good damage, like very, very good. Third one, excellent damage, another crit, and I only got three hits. I was like, man, I was so close, and then I got a flinch. You wouldn't read about it. King's Rock came through right at the end there, but what a crazy battle. Thank you to my opponent for the battle there, and let's get on to battle number four. Man, the old Fu the Pip Knight Special Fury Swipe Zoroark, Terra Normal, never fails to come through. All right, next battle. This one is against uh, a Super Exodia Spammer. Now, we have got a Fido lead here. Now, I was like, okay, what? Well, this has to be a troll set. Now, my first set is going to be Zorowa. Now, this Zorowa is actually Zorowark. So, it's my Fury Swipe set. So, first things first, I went for a sub, right? So, you know, to get that dub, you have to go for a sub. Unfortunately for me, Fido goes for Raw. I'm like, oh, out of all the moves to use... So I'm going to get forcibly, uh, you know, ejected from the battle and in comes Zora again. So <laughs> they're both the same. So it's like, it's like, which one was which, you know? So I've got come up as a Giga Impact. I'm like, you know what? This Fido's getting a Giga Impact. So it's going to hit me the player off. Now I'm kind of salty because I wish I went for a come up and say, and uh, I've got that focus ash. Like, all right, well, it's going to finish it off with Giga Impact anyway. And Fido just takes it so well. Like, it's definitely got Everlight. It's a very, uh, a very, very bold. Bulky set there, living a max attack Giga Impact from a brave uh, Zora. So I was curious why they'd swap their Pokemon out here. Like they could easily, they, ha they had me done. Um, you know, all, it was all over Red Rover, and then they took me out with a Gus Vivalon. So that was the only reason just to troll me. People are really mean to me. They like taking me out like really weak moves. You know, like I got a Pokemon left, they'll use Tackle. You know, Gus. All these sorts of things. So next Pokemon I've got is my Zoroark here. So I'm going to go for a flamethrower here. We're going to roast that Vivlion out of this battle. Now, i got a question for you all as well. I do plan to actually do my Vivlion team again. Like, it was an old classic Pit Might theme team from like eight years ago. It was one of my first ones here. So um, I really would like to do that. Uh, anyway, this is funny. So they went for a guillotine and I was actually a ghost type. So it never affected me. I had a little feeling there might be a one hit KO move on there. But... Uh, Cloth got completely trolled there. But back to the Vivillons, right? Would you like to see me do the Vivillon team now? Or do you want me to wait to the Pokeball pattern? Can I'm not sure if the Pokeball pattern can come through. I've, I've got it and stuff like that. But currently, that's the only one that you can't get. So we like to see every single one of them in there. Um, I could wait to home and do that. I'll hopefully it'll be like a few weeks, but I don't know. Does anyone know if the Pokeball one specifically is going to be able to come back there? Like I've been reading around a lot and stuff, but I haven't really got like a definitive answer. But uh, yeah, I'd really like to do that team regardless. But you know, I'm sort of a person that likes to do every single little thing, not just like 99% of one thing. You know, sort of perfectionist qualities there. Anyway, um, just let me know what you think. I'm definitely going to do that team though. So we got the Tepig coming in here. I'm um, sorry, the Lachonk and getting my uh, little little uh, pigs messed up. And and we're going to have a, uh, a Focus Sash here, obviously, and we've got Come Up. It's this time I got my uh, Come Up. Sorry, Counter! I mean, they both start with C anyway, right? That's the point. So, uh, LeChonk is going to fake there to the Focus Sash Counter, which is really good. Next Pokemon is Ben Dozo. Um, people always like to call me this because, you know, Ben Dozo, I mean, you know, it's, my, it's me, obviously, and uh, Don Dozo is my favorite Pokemon for Generation 9, right? There's no other reasons than that. Now, uh, Don Dozo. 
He's very, very thick. You know, it's a very, very bulky Pokemon. Um, it most certainly does have unaware too. Now, we're going to go to Zoroark here. This was the... Z Wait, this was the Zoroark from the start of the battle. Yeah, that you sub to and then got roared out. So it's like, I may as well just bring it in. So I went for the sub there. I wanted to see what uh, Don Dozer would do. And it's going to go be a Fissure set. So I'm like, all right, it's a... It's a bulky uh, one-hit KO set. So I went for the Fury Swipes here, and it was a pure disaster. Like, look at the damage that I'm doing to it. It's literally doing nothing. So I was like, all right, well, let's be real about this. I got three hits, which, I mean, it was better than two hits, but Leftovers is going to heal up all that damage anyway. So I was like, all right, I'll go for a swap here, and uh, the Don Dozo swaps out. And then I went for the Night Days. I'm like, all right, fair enough. Um, I can take the Fido out. Uh, I was going to go for the Don Dozo and then swap, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take that anyway. I don't think Fido really could do that much uh, anyway. Next Pokemon is Vivleon. This is the uh, the Polar one, I, I believe. I've got all the Vivleons already to go. I'm just waiting for that Pokeball one, you know, uh, because that was a that was an event one uh, too. So I'm sort of just curious, like, do you want to see every single one of them in there? I could do that. Um, I probably have to wait to home though because uh, that team is something I really want to do and I'm going to use every single one of the Vivleons so like, every single pattern and I'll come up with a unique move set for everyone it'll be a really really cool video anyway that one's to come in the future regardless of whether I use the Pokeball or not I just like to hear your opinion on that so we got a Terra Bug uh, Vivleon it's going to go for a Struggle Bug here and that is easily going to be able to take up my Zoroark now that you know the Subtute is gone that would have one shot at me regardless so I was a little bit worried about Bug Buzz there getting around the sub, but obviously it's a meme set, so they, I know what they're trying to do, they're trying to fake me with like really, really bad moves, right? People enjoy doing this to me, for, I don't know why they enjoy doing this to me for some reason, so here comes another struggle bug, and Zoroark is going to get wrecked there, I mean, struggle bug and terror bug was you know, going to be pretty powerful there regardless, so I've got one more poke all left, uh, Vivian also has the uh, leftovers too, now we've got my Zoroark Hisu as the last Pokemon, now, I've got Flame Trail. I was like, I'm just going to go for that. I'm not going to play any games here. And that is the end of the Vivian. So, all that's left now is uh, is Bendozo, right? And uh, Bendozo doesn't have a lot of uh, health left. So, I'm going to go for a bit of Malice here. And that is going to be enough to take out uh, the Bendozo. And now, my friends, is the end of the third battle with the Zoroa Evolution team. And we've got one more battle uh, left here. Yeah, normally, I do three battles. We've got four today. So, uh, we got a battle here. This one's getting hunted down. We've got a lot of uh, 4 v Four battles today, which is cool. So first Pokemon, I don't know whether this is like, I think this might be a random nicknames team too, but if you come up with any, if you can think about what any of these nicknames even mean, uh, feel free to let me know. So first Pokemon is Hypno. Uh, thanks to my doctor, my Hypno longer hurts. Now with the Hypno, right, it's not really a Pokemon you get to see very often. And uh, it's going to put me to sleep with Hypnosis. So I actually went for, um, this is a come up and set. So I was hoping it would hit me with a powerful move you know, and put me on my sash, and then I could do some good damage back there, but unfortunately, it's going to be a Trailblaze set, so I think I can see what it's doing here, so Trailblaze is going to boost Hypno speed, and it you know, has the ability to put me to sleep, and I'm sure it's got some other, like, I don't know, troll move, I'm thinking Zen Headbutt would be quite good on this set, you know, Zen Headbutt could flinch, that's not a bad idea, so anyway, I went for come up and, and it really did a bad amount of damage there, I mean, when you look at it, Shadow Sneak did more to Hypno than come up and did, so here comes another Trailblaze, Blaze, and that is the end of a Zoro. I quite like Zoro. I hear so, um, it's like it looks like a little, like almost with its, I guess it's its fur, like it looks like a scarf going around. It looks really cool. So, next, we're going to bring in uh, Zoro, which is disguised, of course, as a Zoro Walk. Here comes the Trailblaze. Now, since it did have so much speed up, I couldn't, you know, kind of surprise my opponent here because, uh, you know, he was already going to get my uh, illusion um, beaten there. So, I went for a sub here so I could get that sub. I just wanted to see what it was going to use. Now, it's going to go for a low kick. So, low kick is going to be super effective on the Zoroark. And, you know, that is uh, going to break my sub, obviously. I mean, the one thing about, I will say this about Zoroark Hisuei, with normal and ghost type, it's extremely good typing, but it doesn't have the bolt to live hits right. And once his illusion's gone, the whole surprise is gone. So it's more about how you play it with its excellent typing, you know. that for, you know, That's just for Zoroark Hisu. Also, if you want to know how to use Zoroark uh, Hisu and Zoroark and stuff, I have done a guide on that as well, a moose set guide, so you can check that out as well. It's on my channel. Anyway, we got a Whiskatch coming out here. You know, when I go into the shopping store, I pay Whiskatch. Now, with this Zoroark, I was trying to go for a flinch here. This is very, very unfortunate, but it had a red card, so out goes my Zoroark. Like, man, I just lost all my boost. So in comes uh, Zoroark here, which is disguised as my Zoroark Hisu. 
And I've got a flinch on two hits, which is really, really cool. Now, I've got Bitter Malice hiding Hive Boy, so alright, let's go for Bitter Malice. It's gone for a Dragon Ant, so we'll drop its attack, right? That's going to be good. But instead of uh, actually running a physical move, it's got Fissure, I'm like... Okay, so the Dragon Dance was just there to, you know, uh, boost Whizcash's speed. That's it. So the High Voice is going to take out Whizcash. It's good. Next Pokemon is Dog. So we, we've had a Fido, and now we've had a, uh, we, we, we've got another, we've got a big Fido. So uh, who's Dog? Who's ever had a dog in their life called Fido? It's got to be one person out there. Uh, anyway, we've got Zoroark coming back in here, disguised as Zoro, of course, and I get hit by a Mud Slap. So I'm like, all right, that's, that's a little bit annoying here, because... This Fury Swipe set, you know, Fury Swipes is already 80% actually, so I went for the Fury Swipes here, and I, I actually managed to land, which was quite good, and I got two crits back to back, which is, you know, really, really lucky, and then I got a third hit, and then I got a fourth hit, and I'm like, wow, that's really lucky, so I got five hits and two crits there, so excellent, you know, and I was like, all that could top it off here would be a flinch, and I got it, so then I kept scratching this over and over and over again, and I was, I was just really, really surprised I was actually landing all my hits, so I got another three hits, and I got another flinch, like, you wouldn't, like, you couldn't, like, you can make this luck up, right, so then my next attack, of course, is going to miss, which I sort of expected here, and uh, we're going to get taken out by a draining kiss, I'm like, alright, I have to get rid of this Pokemon soon, right, but, uh, I've got my Zoroark left, which it really can't do too much damage yet. So what I'm going to be doing is bring in my Zoroark Hisawain. Now, Zoroark Hisawain has got Bitter Malice and Hive Voice. So I just went for Hive Voice. Hive Voice almost takes out. It was very, very close. And then I'm going to get hit by Mud Slap. So I'm like, all right, I took hardly any damage. I think the opponent knows what Pokemon I've got left here anyway. It's quite obvious. So I went for Hive Voice, and Hyper Voice actually missed, which really sucked. And now it's going to go for a Snarl, which uh, is very, very bad, because that's going to drop my Special Ape. It's like, you know what? I'll just finish it off, and then I'll swap into Zorua, and then I'll go back into Zorua. Here's the way I'm all my moves miss. Like, I only got one Mud Slap accuracy drop. So you tell me you, I can land Fury Swipes continually, get crits and flinches, but I can't land a single Hive Voice or 100% accuracy move after one Mud Slap drop. Like, that is absolutely incredible there. Like, go from that crazy luck into a horrible luck. So I'm going to go for extra century here. Unfortunately, I'm going to get outsped. And that's it. I got trolled by a Mud Slap. You're like, one Mud Slap. That's it, people. Hope you enjoyed the Zoroark Evolution team. There may be a second upload today as well. We'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, peace out, people, and I'll catch you next time.